Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. We're in Carthania right now, uh, waiting on Goose to arrive. He's been stuck in Cologne for two weeks. Yeah, so the process it was going to be five days. There was some issue with paperwork on the truck, so it got stuck there. We've been waiting with not really any updates uh, yeah. for uh, another week and a half now. Just been trying to pop around from one hostel to another in uh, Cartagena because it's pretty booked up. But we found a home each night and we're traveling with our new friends that we're sharing a container with. So it's actually been fun, uh, but definitely excited to get Goose back yes, I can't and go wait. explore. But we'll have Christmas in Colombia. Yes. So we'll be in Cartagena for Christmas. Yeah, and then who knows where for New Year's. Hopefully we have Goose in our hands yes. by New Year's and we're back on the road he exploring. Is, he is moving on a ship as of today. Yep. So pretty excited. Hopeful. All right, and then he'll show up at these ports back over here that you can probably see those cranes. So those will unload him uh, probably day after tomorrow or at the latest, I'm really hoping the 27th, so. After a little stroll around the new neighborhood, we came back to our hostel only to discover a music video was being filmed. So we decided to head up to the roof to see what all the hubbub was about. We got to hear this song on repeat a lot. But it was entertaining and everyone was super nice. It is Christmas Eve night and we decided to take a walk and just look at the lights around the city and put ourselves in the Christmas spirit. Now that Goose is officially on the move, we have our Christmas wish granted. Yeah, honestly. Which was it's a big all I one. want for Christmas is our truck. <laughs> yeah, so it left this morning and we that was our first sort of notice that anything had changed in us waiting now a week and a half or whatever, two weeks for our truck, uh, is that it left harbor and it was moving at a pretty good clip. And then we've been checking it all day and it's not far from Cartagena. Uh, the port's closed tomorrow. And so the day after that, it'll be starting to be unloaded. But to think that they're going to get our box out or off of there, and fi find it, open it, let us inspect it, do you know five hours paperwork. of paperwork is going to be unlikely. So we're thinking the 27th we'll get to hit the road again. So Cartagena has been amazing and we're loving it. But man, we cannot wait to hit the road and keep yeah. moving and see stuff. So. Walking through the city, trying it's to find money. a place to drink. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Woo! Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and we got our Christmas wish of the truck. I think it's at least it's here. It's just outside the harbor. Yeah. So that's good. We knew there was nothing we could do today and the next except relax and enjoy ourselves. So that's exactly what we did.
was finally the day we had all been waiting for. The day after Christmas. The port was open again, and Goose was in the country. <laughs> we hoped. So we crossed our fingers and headed from our hostel over to the port, bright and early, on December 26th. The whole day spent waiting, a visit from the office parrot, it was finally announced that the boys could go open the container. And they got to wear some pretty nifty safety gear to protect them from death and dismemberment. I, can't see the van. I think we might actually see our vehicles. It's only, only two weeks in. Woohoo! And we're feeling pretty spiffy too. I might see if I can keep the vest. <laughs> and the helmet. And the helmet. Safety first. That big ugly van. The dock workers couldn't be bothered to crawl to the back of the container to undo the rear strap, so in Jake squeezed to undo the rear straps for Buddy their van. They had seen the trucks, <laughs> and now they were parked in the port holding lot. Tim and Jake had taken the required pictures of the vehicles for the next step of the import process, and with only about two hours until the port office closed for the day, they jumped in a cab and booked it over to the Dion office to try and complete the import paperwork. They had made it back to the port with about an hour to spare. All they had to do now was drive the vehicles out of the port. Seems simple enough. All right, so we're finishing up, uh, I don't know, what's that, 10 hour day? I don't know, at the port. We did everything we could, and then at least two hours ago, maybe two and a half hours ago, we were done. The process was done, and we just, we had, we'd seen our truck, and we just had to go in and uh, grab it. And so he put in for authorization, and then another hour went by, and another hour went by. And now as you can see, the sun's setting, and the port's closing, and he says, there's no time. So come back tomorrow. So we're coming back tomorrow at eight and then we should get the truck. It's what it is. After such a long day, we went back to the hotel and negotiated one more night. Then beyond exhausted, all of us dragged ourselves to the nearest burger joint, which wasn't actually very good. But at that point, any food seemed amazing. Even with such a seemingly easy task tomorrow of literally walking to the truck and driving it out of the dockyard, we had all learned our lesson and tried not to get too excited about the fact that tomorrow morning we might have our house back. Good morning. So we're only, uh, what's that, two to three minutes, right? Two to three minutes. Two to three minutes from getting our truck. So within the next two to three hours, maybe <laughs> we'll get our truck. We have no idea. So first off, you can see the back of Goose up there, and then these are all sort of the cars sitting back here. But some of these look like forgotten. Uh, here's a little Fiat. It's pretty freaking beautiful. Look at that. Just sitting back here with a sticker still on it for import, but it makes you wonder if it's been forgotten or what. And then look at this back here. Not quite as beautiful Mercedes. Needs a little bit of love, but look at that. Maybe somebody rejected the shipment because it was damaged. Maybe somebody didn't pay. I wonder how long that's just been sitting here. Pretty cool. And then uh, pretty much brand new GX460 also hanging out. Wild. All right, so after two and a half weeks, uh, I think we're about to drive out of here. He says five minutes. We know that sometimes means five hours, so we'll see. Currently 
currently driving our truck. For the first time in a couple weeks. I'm driving Goose. There's Jake. And we're leaving the port. We have quite literally one barrier between me and the end of this process. I can't wait. Two and a half weeks since it started at a police station at 6 a.m. in Panama City. And it was done. Get anxiety just sitting here like, are they, is there gonna be an issue? Are they gonna tell me to go back? Which would seem paranoid, but not really. Just that's happened throughout the process, right? Oh no, this guy's not in today, or this paperwork, you know, somebody else did it wrong. It's not your fault, but somebody at the other port did it wrong. It'll be a few days, or a few hours, or a few minutes. Um, so I'm sure we're gonna be good, but I just can't wait to drive through this last barrier. We're so close. I can't believe we got back and it's like all of a sudden a huge relief and a huge chunk of anxiety. Oh my god, I have a vehicle. I need, I need insurance now in this country. There's cops around me. I think I just flew through a stop sign. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's good to have him back. But... Now we get groceries and restock goose and then we can leave. Yes. Be on our way. Yes. Woo. Man, was it good to be back in Goose. What a long saga. We were so happy to be back in our home and able to hit the road again. We all decided one last night together was in order. We needed to celebrate having our vehicles and freedom back, so we headed to the nearest beach camp we could find. We said it a lot during the whole process, but we were really lucky to get Jake and Jordan as our container buddies. And I know we were all glad that this was over. Thanks for watching and join us next time as we hit the road again. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> it's a siren, and then this is a speaker to talk into. <laughs> it's like a action sequence. <laughs> Game on. How you feeling, Taco? Right there, is that the one? It's a bit short. Guess what we're driving? Woo! Woo! Thanks for watching yep. and uh, Merry, Christmas, Merry Christmas everybody. everybody.